You've probably heard about the Alpha Wolf, that ruthless pack leader from the movies, right? The truth about wolf families is completely different and much more fascinating. First off, the foundation of a wild wolf pack is family, a truly cohesive unit, the so-called alpha pair. They're simply the mom and dad, the breeding pair, and the rest of the pack are their kids from previous years. It's a family working together, not a constant battle for the top spot, which is a common misconception. This understanding shifts our view from power struggles to genuine cooperation. But if they're families, where did this whole alpha idea even come from, you might ask? Well, the alpha concept actually started with studies of captive wolves, which is a crucial distinction. Imagine unrelated wolves forced into a small space, a stressful, unnatural setup creating tension. Of course, they showed more aggression and clear dominance, but that's not how it works in the wild with established families. This skewed picture, unfortunately, became very popular and widespread. Interestingly, the scientist whose early work popularized this, Dr. L. David Meck, later spent years trying to correct this misconception, realizing it didn't apply to natural wolf packs in their true environment. So, in the wild, the alpha wolf, as a constantly challenged dominant leader, is largely a myth we need to dispel. The parent wolves lead because they're the most experienced and responsible for their offspring's survival. Their leadership is about guiding hunts and protecting the family, not constant fighting or aggressive displays. Serious dominance displays are rare. It's more like a parent-child dynamic with natural respect shown by younger members. Instead of infighting, what truly defines a wild wolf pack is incredible teamwork and mutual support. Cooperation is absolutely key to their survival. It's the cornerstone of their society. They hunt large prey together using smart, coordinated strategies, and the whole pack often helps raise the pups, with older siblings even babysitting the youngest. This teamwork is what makes them strong and resilient in harsh conditions. And when young wolves grow up, they don't overthrow their parents to take charge. They typically leave naturally to find a mate and start their own family, a process which is vital for genetic diversity across populations. Understanding this true behavior is important, especially when we think about our dogs and their origins. Unfortunately, the alpha myth led to harsh dominance-based dog training methods that are often counterproductive. But as we've learned more about the cooperative family model of wild wolves, modern dog training has thankfully shifted towards positive reinforcement, building trust and understanding, not trying to dominate our pets. Beyond just hierarchy, wolves show complex emotions and intelligence. They play, show affection towards one another, and even seem to grieve, painting a picture of intelligent animals with rich emotional lives, far from the old, simplistic stereotype. So, the fierce alpha wolf is more legend than reality. A fascinating story, but not the full picture. Wild wolf packs are dedicated families, relying on cooperation, experience, and care to thrive. Hopefully, you now see these incredible animals in a new, more amazing light. If you're captivated by these insights and want to explore more incredible stories from the wild, make sure to subscribe to Raw Power of Nature.